Alrighty, so we have one of our most controversial series launching today. Um, it is called Cedar Point's Conspiracy Theories. So we're going to go over, once a week, every Monday, a conspiracy theory or rumor that is out of this world and very hard to believe and discuss it and digest it as a group. So in today's video, we're going to discuss the Polar Coaster. Now, the Polar Coaster isn't... Um, a very popular rumor, a lot of people don't believe in the Polar Coaster, and for good reasons. There are a couple YouTube channels out there that have covered the Polar Coaster concept and do strongly believe the Polar Coaster is coming to Cedar Point at some point. Um, I do want to strongly suggest that I do not think that a Polar Coaster is coming to Cedar Point, and definitely not anytime soon. But in this video, I'm going to discuss the possibilities of it coming to Cedar Point, and the reasons why it definitely will not come to Cedar Point, if that makes sense. I want you guys to comment down below what you think, um, and at some point we're going to come up with some sort of score at the end of the video on how you guys can vote. Fail or win is what I'm going to go with for now. Um, but just to get this started off with, Cedar Point is definitely that park in the Cedar Fair chain that gets those record-breaking attractions, and they push the limits. We've seen it with Top Thrill Dragster, we've definitely seen it with some of their attractions like Maverick, and Steel Vengeance as of late. These are attractions that really push the limits and envelope in terms of world records, and it wouldn't be out of this world to see Cedar Point going for something like a polar coaster down the road. Now, it is definitely not happening anytime soon, but with the recent sparks of parts being manufactured for the Florida or um, International Drive Polar Coaster, I decided to make a video discussing the possibilities of a polar coaster based off of some YouTube channel's coverage of this. Now, again, I want to stress, anything we discuss as a conspiracy theory is not that of amusement insiders, and we are simply discussing the possibilities of something like this going on. Now, let's get right to it. This would be a great attraction for the land they're purchasing off-site, the strip that they, is at the entrance to the peninsula. With them purchasing land on this strip, they could be going after something like International Drive styled strip that will draw guests and create more jobs. Now, this is how Cedar Fair may be able to get some sort of um, help from the local government or Ohio, the state. I don't know how it works down there, so I could be wording it terribly wrong. But they could receive funding as they would be helping the economy in the area and creating jobs. Um, so my concept with this is we see Cedar Fair purchasing some land in that area on the strip just as you before you enter the peninsula. And it could be for an international drive styled kind of area. It wouldn't be out of this world to see Cedar Fair building this kind of international drive in quotations down in the, near the peninsula as it would help them expand their hotel and off-site revenue. Um, we could see things like restaurants, hotels, and upcharge attractions like the Polar Coaster coming to that area. It would help offset the cost of one of these, and it would help with their, again, out-of-park revenue. Um, it would also help set Cedar Point apart from one of its competitors, Six Flags Magic Mountain. And I do think this is a brilliant idea, although it is probably most definitely not going to happen. Um, again, they could have an upcharge which would help offset some of the costs, and it would boost the potential for more off-site projects like hotels and restaurants. Now let's get into the reasons why this is probably definitely never going to happen. Again, I wanted to stress that Amusement Insiders and myself, we don't think this is going to happen. We don't think this is going to happen anytime soon. And if it were going to happen, like some are suggesting, it's going to happen a long ways down the road. These projects for the what I think is International Drive aren't going to start happening for about another 10 years. It seems like they're just getting themselves set up and purchasing properties as they're focusing on in the park for now. So let's get right to it. This project is way too expensive, with what I would estimate around a $100 plus million dollar price tag. That is not something we've seen Cedar Fair willing to do, unless it's something like a hotel renovation or upgrade. Um, this would be an out-of-park investment, as I can't see them investing this much money or this size of an attraction inside the park, unless it was somewhere along the beachfront and they were going to make room for it. Now, on that note, these attractions take up a lot of room vertically, but not a lot of room, you know, as a total area. So this is something that isn't out of the world for something that could go inside the park. I just don't see it. I see this as an outside-of-the-park investment 
again, using the word international drive style attraction on just the exit of the peninsula. Um, we also don't see Intamin and Cedar Fair working together anytime soon. Intamin is the current manufacturer of the coaster track for this attraction, but I'm not sure if Intamin owns the rights to that or if it's up to the person purchasing it to choose the company they want to design it. Um, so again, I don't know too much about that, but as I know, Intamin is per, um, manufacturing the coaster track and the coaster for the polar coaster going to Florida. Correct me down below if I am wrong about that, or if you can choose your manufacturer for the polar coaster, because uh, I don't think Intamin owns the rights to the polar coaster. I think the process was Florida wanted a, the tower with the restaurant in it, and uh, they chose the manufacturer, and there were actually two, I believe, um, going up for it. I think it was SNS and Intamin. Correct me again down below if I'm wrong, but who knows? Um, Cedar Fair doesn't seem to be working with them anytime soon. So that was my argument there. Um, the hype for one of these would be worn off by the time Cedar Fair is willing to purchase one of these as an investment, as the one in Florida will probably, fingers crossed, knock on wood, be open by then. And then by then, the whole hype for it would be worn off and that investment could be better used elsewhere. Um, no permits have appeared yet for any sort of investment like this. And again, Cedar Point is one of those parks where their investments do leak via permit or news media. Again, we're even seeing that an indoor massive entertainment, uh, amusement type attraction area is opening up in Ohio. Uh, just, it's not near Cedar Point, but it's kind of near Cedar Point, if that makes sense. So this is one of those attractions that I could see actually end up being built over there down the road and not at Cedar Point. Um, there's better attractions in the end they could purchase for a lot less of the cost of this attraction. To go into more detail, um, a lot of people, including myself, believe a GCI and a flying coaster are going are better investments that the park can make for a lot less, for almost one third of the cost of a polar coaster, if not more. We don't even know the cost of this thing. So again, a GCI and world record um, GCI, a world record flying coaster, could do the park better. Um, we're not seeing the massive increase in attendance due to Steel Vengeance. That is not the park's fault, and that is not Steel Vengeance's fault. That is the media's fault. It's blowing that whole crash incident out of proportion. Um, but who knows what Cedar Point holds down the road. I just think there are better roller coasters they could build than the polar coaster. And I know a lot of people agree with me on that. Um, a lot of people aren't big fans of the polar coaster, and a lot of people are, um, you know, looking at the bigger picture here and understanding that a polar coaster is not in Cedar Fair or Cedar Point's future. Um, a lot of enthusiasts are even speculating, though, that we could see a strata lift hill before we even see the concept of a polar coaster coming to Cedar Point. So, again, there's a lot more um, points to prove that. A polar coaster is just not in Cedar Point's future than there is to suggest that one is very likely to come to Cedar Point. So in my personal opinion, I think this is a fail. I think this whole conspiracy theory of a polar coaster coming to Cedar Point is a giant F, a giant fail, um, and we are not going to see one. I want to hear from you guys down below what you think. Do you think it's a fail or do you think it's a win? Do you think we're going to see this coaster being built at Cedar Point or off site at Cedar Point at some location down the road? We're not talking a year or two. If so, type win. And if not, type fail. This conspiracy theory, um, in my opinion, is probably debunked and we're not going to see a, um, a polar coaster coming to Cedar Point or even Cedar Fair anytime soon. Um, again, comment down below what you think, um, and there's going to be a new conspiracy theory video for Cedar Point every Monday, and eventually when we're out of conspiracy theories, we'll move on to the next park in the chain or Six Flags. Who knows? Maybe we'll do Six Flags Magic Mountain after Cedar Point. What better way to end the Cedar Point conspiracy theory than moving on to Six Flags Magic Mountain? Hope you guys enjoyed this series and this video of this new series. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.